What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Culination Media and welcome back to another live Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle against a subscriber slash follower on Twitter. Today we're going up against Greg in an NU match and uh, we're going to be bringing the same team that we brought for the last battle. For those of you that don't remember or didn't watch that episode, I'll be sure to go over the team here in detail in a second. But before we do that, just a friendly little reminder in case you guys haven't done so already and you would like to show your support to the channel and the series and all that fun stuff, you can do so by clicking that like button right below this video or you can leave a comment down below with uh, whatever your thoughts may be. All of that is always appreciated. Now, as for the team, we have our specially defensive Hypno with Toxic, Wish Protect, and Psy Shock. Then we have Choice Bandit on Pheasant with U-Turn, Quick Attack, uh, return and pluck then we have our two physically defensive pokemon tangles the tangela and our physically defensive torkoal as well carrying the rocky helmet and then focus sash raichu with nasty plot and encore and then the wild card of the bunch rain dance swift swim life orb seeking because why not some big time threats here uh the first thing i'm noticing is that septile i don't think is nu uh, hopefully this is not Mega Sceptile, that would really help. Um, I'm not positive because I have been away on vacation. I've mentioned it so many times but I was gone for like six weeks and a lot changes. I'm not completely up to date on uh, all of the tier shifts and everything. So Sceptile or, I, yeah, I guess Sceptile could just be uh, NU by now. I don't really know. So I'm not going to comment on that other than throwing it out there as a possibility. Either way, uh, it's not a big deal and it is going to be a huge threat to my team. Uh, hopefully Hypno can handle it. Then we have Cradley, which is probably going to be specially defensive, although it could also be a Swords Dance variant, so we need to watch out for that. Uh, could definitely be a Stealth Rock Setter if it is the defensive spread. Uh, then we have Weezing, probably going to be physically defensive. Uh, Swellow and Zangoose are some big-time physical threats. One of them, I'm guessing, has a Toxic Orb, probably Zangoose, uh, for the Toxic Boost boost. That makes any sense whatsoever <laughs> and then we have the guts most likely a guts swallow although it could also be boomer so we need to be careful about that as for pyro it could be a couple of different things usually uh the most common sets i've seen are either life orb choice specs or choice scarf uh, usually with hyper voice and then flamethrower fire blast hp grass uh, at Dark Pulse, those types of things. So we need to watch out for all of those things. I'm just uh, kind of talking out loud here, just so that you guys have an idea of what I'm thinking when I'm going into the battle. Uh, and that way, by the time it's over, you'll see what I missed too, because you don't, you can't process everything all at once. Well, I guess the good players can, but I usually miss at least one thing. So since we have Swellow out here against Torkoal, that's a great matchup for us. It's not one-shotting us, or it might not even be able to two-shot us. We may see a Protect here to get a uh, Toxic or f Flame Orb off uh, to activate Guts, or we may just see a U-Turn or a Hard Switch even if he's fearing the Rocky Helmet. Either way, I'm setting up Stealth Rocks. Um, I don't want to mess around here, and if the Swillow is going to be coming in and out of battle, I want it to at least pay for that via the Stealth Rock, so he's actually going to U-turn, which is great for me, because that does absolutely no damage whatsoever. Did like 12 HP worth, and we get more than that off with the Rocky Helmet recoil. Now, he is going to get a bit of momentum here as he gets to switch into what he wants, which is going to be the Pyroar, Shiny Pyroar. I don't know if I really like the Shiny Pyroar, to be honest. Either way, uh, we're going for the Stealth Rocks here. And that'll be good for this Pyroar, too, if it uh, switches out of battle. I think those are his only two weaknesses to Stealth Rock. But that's enough for me to uh, want to set it up here early game. Now, we don't want to stay in because most likely a Hyper Voice is coming. Uh, hopefully, we don't get predicted here by switching in Hypno and get hit with a Dark Pulse. I think it's a little early in the game for our opponent to start uh, throwing out those kinds of predictions. Uh, no, he does just go for the Hyper Voice, and that does a solid chunk of damage. Uh, Hypno usually takes those hits really, really well. That did about 25%. 25, 30%. Uh, maybe like 25%. But with lefties, we're back up to 150 uh, HP. He is going to switch out, I guess, uh, thinking it's not worth it. But I predicted the Cradley switch in, as that is the special wall. 
uh, most likely. And we're gonna toxic this thing, which is great. Now, I figured the Cradley would be coming here, even though uh, Hypno tends, when it's offensive, to run a physical variant. That's somewhat of a common thing. Uh, you're still not going to switch a Weezing in on a Hypno regardless. So the Cradley was the logical choice, and we hit it with the Toxic coming in, which is great. Get some residual damage going on this thing, um, because it is quite bulky on the special side, even if it's an offensive variant. It most of the time will survive hits on the special side, and it has access to recover, too. Now, if I had to guess, I'm going to say that this is a specially defensive variant, and we will see either Stealth Rock or Toxic coming here. So I kind of want to switch in Pa, predicting either one of those, getting it, getting it in safely, because I don't really care about Toxic on that. Uh, what else on this team doesn't care about Toxic? Pretty much it. I don't want Hypno or Tangles or uh, Torkoal to get toxic. We could go in with Tilda because we have Megahorn, which may just be able to one-shot it, honestly. Hmm, it's tempting. And Tilda doesn't care too much about toxic because it's she just kind of comes in and hits a bunch of things and then uh, leaves. Hopefully no Giga Drain. Okay, there we go. But I was just thinking that was a really risky play if you went for Giga Drain there. Uh, he does opt to go for the Stealth Rock, though, so that is fine. And we could do a couple of things here. We could set up the rain to make ourselves faster, although we don't need the rain for Cradley. We definitely are going to outspeed that. The question is, do I want to go for knockoff and get rid of the lefties, or do I want to go for the Megahorn? I think I'm just going to go for the knockoff here. I was also thinking there might be a switch coming, but that ended up not being the case. And we do see the Energy Ball come out for more power over the Giga Drain. Does a solid chunk of damage. And with the Toxic damage here, Megahorn will definitely take it out. Even though uh, Waterfall would be, I guess, a decent option, Cradley does have Storm Drain, so that makes it immune to our Water-type attacks. And the only reason I even suggested that was because Megahorn doesn't have perfect accuracy here. I don't want to risk Knockoff not killing after not getting the boost from Cradley not having an item now. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have let Tilda take all that damage. I mean, it's worth it to get rid of Cradley because that is really going to allow Zap to come in and dish out a butt ton of damage. But I'm just going to go for the Megahorn. We're going to get rid of this Cradley. I'm not going to mess around with switching and letting this thing recover or any of that. We just want it out of here. Uh, so we do need to try to get rid of that Stealth Rock, though, just because we have Unpheasant, um, which does not like the Stealth Rocks, obviously. And Raichu doesn't really like it either because Zap has a Focus Sash. We want that intact because Swellow and uh, Sceptile both outspeed our Raichu. So that is something to be wary of. We'll see what he wants to go into here. Uh, if he goes into Weezing, I'm just going to go for a knockoff and get rid of whatever item he's holding before we go down. And if he goes into Sceptile, I don't know if I'm going to do anything except just let Tilda go down. He does go into the Weezing, which is great, because we get some chip damage off. Remove its either Rocky Helmet or its Black Sludge, because we do outspeed a Weezing. And that actually did... Wow, that did more than I thought it would to a Weezing. Here comes the Sludge Bomb, and Tilda's going to go down, but uh, she did a good job. Not as much as I wanted her to do, but getting off a solid chunk and removing the item on a Weezing and taking out Cradley, that's pretty darn good. Uh, now we can go into Torkoal, actually. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this opportunity right now to Rapid Spin, because I don't think my opponent has anyone else that wants to set up the rocks. If that means Torkoal has to go down, that's fine, because I have another physically defensive Pokemon in Tangela. So if... Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I would have this chance again, and that's why I'm going to take it now. There's the Sludge Bomb. We get poisoned as well, so that's definitely going to mean that Sludge Bomb will be a 2 at KO. But the most important thing here to me is to ensure that uh, our Unpheasant is not going to be taking all that damage, switching in and out. That gives us some more versatility there. We can play a little bit more aggressively with those rocks off the field, and Zap has his Focus Sash intact. 
which may come into play later on against that Sceptile, I'm not really sure. Uh, either way, the Weakling's going to stay in here and go for a Sludge Bomb. There's really no reason for him to go for anything else, because I have nothing that's immune to it. Didn't really want to switch in Hypno and risk getting poisoned. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go in with Zap here, because I don't really have anything else that can break this Weezing, honestly. I'm going to hope that a Thunderbolt is enough. Hopefully he's not invested in his special defense at all. I mean, from that range, I, it's, I don't know. It's I feel like that's going to be enough. I really do feel like that's going to be enough. Never mind, I spoke too soon. He survives with like two and a half HP remaining. Thankfully, he doesn't get the poison or do over half. But my goodness, that that really stinks. Maybe he had some um, some special bulk there. I was a little bit worried when Knockoff did so much from, from Seeking. It could just be because he has some special defense investment. Uh, either way, there's really no reason for me to not go for the T-Bolt here. We'll finish off this Weezing, so uh, no more defensive Pokemon on our opponent's side. He's got Zangoose and Swellow, Sceptile, and Pyroar remaining. So the Cradling Weezing are gone. Out comes the Sceptile. And... Question here is, do I want to keep Zap around, or is he within a range where priority is going to kill him from a quick attack? I don't know if that's going to be a, the case here. Uh, Tangles is an option to switch in, just because it resists the Grass-type stab, but I don't know if he's going to take a hit very well. We could be dealing with a Sceptile that has HP Ice or Fire as well, uh, so that's a bit risky. Tangles doesn't take hits too well on the uh, special side. But what we could do is if we could survive a hit or two, we could Leaf Storm and then, you know, power swap the drops over to the Sceptile. But I don't know if we would survive that long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch in Hypno, which honestly might be a little bit of a predictable move, but it's what I have to do. And there is the Dragon Pulse, not even going for the Grass type move. Possibly predicting the Tangela to come out. That tells me that you don't have a hidden power that would be very effective on Tangela. It could be HP Rock. So I, looking at my team, I don't think that... Uh, I can't think of any other predictions that would be made there. So we're going to set up a Wish. And Power Roar, the Pie Roar, is going to come out. Most likely because it has the Dark Pulse. There's the Unnerve, which really doesn't mean anything to us, and the 25% uh, coming off the Pyroar's health due to the Stealth Rocks, which does indeed help us out. And now that we have a Wish Up, we could very easily just Toxic this thing. We could uh, Psy Shock it, trying to think if we want to bother with switching out. I don't know if Zap would survive a Dark Pulse. And even still, it, it really doesn't make any sense. So I'm just going to go for a Toxic. We really don't have anything to fear except a flinch here. And we do not flinch. We get the Toxic off, so we're going to get some residual damage going. Um, the only thing I could think of that we could have had to fear there, now that I'm thinking about it, is that if the Swellow was Guts, he could have switched that in. Or even the Zangoose, if it was Toxic Boost, he could have switched either one of those in on a predicted Toxic. Uh, I was just thinking, well, the Weezing's gone, so we don't have anything to worry about there, but... Uh, we got a little bit lucky. Little bit lucky. That would have been a waste of a turn had the Swellow or Zangoose come in. Now, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I guess we just stay in and throw up another Wish here. And then we can Psy Shock. And hopefully at that point he predicts a Protect. And uh, we'll switch something in and take damage. He does go for the Dark Pulse. No flinch again, so get a little bit lucky there. And with the lefties, we're in good shape here. We have a wish up, and we're at 136 HP. Now, with that toxic damage, I still don't think that Psy Shock will be enough to kill this thing. But I want to predict... I really would like to predict my opponent to predict me to go for Protect and go for a Psy Shock, hopefully hitting something like Swellow for decent damage. Huh. Or we could predict a switch and switch Zap in to get access to our uh, our Focus Sash again. Or we could switch in Pa here. Try to get him in freely. 
and then maybe quick attack. No, that wouldn't make sense, though. Well, actually, no, it could, because if Swallow comes in, he's going to take 25% due to the rocks. That might just be quick attack range, honestly, because Swallow is so frail. And Zangoose is, too, but he doesn't take 25% due to the rocks. Only Swallow does. We're going to go for it, because he's not going to go for anything but Dark Pulse, most likely. So this could be risky if he ends up going for the Fire Blast, but I don't think he's going to. Nope, he goes for the Dark Pulse. We'll see how much that does. Uh, just... Uh, just under half but which is gonna bring us back up to full health and now we're in a great position because Pyro is pretty weak on the uh, physically defensive side too so we should be okay to just quick attack here we can't go for pluck or return or even u-turn I mean u-turn would make a lot of sense but uh, Pyro does naturally outspeed us so I'm gonna go for the quick attack and with the choice band in hand that's pretty much easy pickings for Pa there, as the Pyroar will go down. Now we have Swellow, Zangoose, and Sceptile left to deal with. The Zangoose is actually going to come out here first. Shiny Zangoose, I should say. I like Shiny Zangoose, the blue. Really cool. Alright, now, do we want to switch in Tangles here? Do I really have a choice? Don't think I do. Trying to think what would be the best play. Quick attack, I don't think will kill from that range. So we're going to have to switch. And I don't want to sacrifice just anyone. So we're going to go into uh, Tangles here. And we'll see what he wants to do. He does opt to go for the knockoff. Good call there. I guess that was a pretty predictable switch. Honestly, I mean, Tangles was the go-to uh, defensive wall here. I'm going to go for the Sleep Powder here. Oh, wait, he's going to switch in Sceptile. He's going to switch in Sceptile. Why did I do that? I should have went for Leaf Storm so I could Power Swap. The oh, that was a bad play. That was a really bad play. He's going to get hurt by the rocks, uh, but Sleep Powder is not going to do anything. I chose my move way too quickly there. That's what happens when you decide on Impulse instead of taking a minute to uh, think it through. Because as soon as I thought about it a little bit more, I knew it was a bad, bad play there. I guess that's just what happens sometimes. Uh, okay, we don't have our Eevee Light, too. So that is something that could be a little bit scary. But we, sh we should still be okay to go up against that Zangoose. Especially because it stayed in for a turn and there was no Toxic Orb. So it's not Toxic Boost. It's something else. And it's not Life Orb, either. I'm going to go for the Leaf Storm. He's double switching. Into the Swellow, which is not going to like taking a Leaf Storm plus Stealth Rock damage. In fact, this might even be a kill. And, oh, just barely the Swellow survives. Our special attack drops. And this is not good for him. He did not want to take all that damage on the Swellow, that's for sure. And again, the Swellow has been in here for a turn now, and we didn't see any Flame or Toxic Orb activating. But we did see a U-Turn. So that's kind of curious. I'm not sure what uh, these two Pokemon are running as far as items are concerned. Maybe a, like a Focus Sash type deal for the Zangoose? It definitely wasn't running Life Orb. Uh, and Swellow wasn't running Life Orb either. Maybe it's Choice Band. I don't know. Now I'm uh, a little bit curious as to what they're running. Either way, this Swellow really has no reason to go for U-Turn. It's probably just going to stay in in Brave Bird. And unfortunately, I don't think Tangles is going to be able to take it. But I don't have anything else that I want to sacrifice either. So perhaps I should just go for Leaf Storm again. And that's what I'm going to do. He does opt to go for the Brave Bird. Tangles is not going to take that, sadly. And he's going to go down. But the Swellow is going to go down with him, which is good news for us. Uh, now, Raichu does outspeed the Zangoose, so we have that going for us. We should be able to take a quick attack when it's not boosted by Toxic Boost. The only problem is going to be that... That Sceptile. I do have Hypno that can take hits from it. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in with Pa at first. And we'll see what he wants to do. 
and our best play might end up being to just sacrifice Zap at that point to get a safe switch into Hypno. I don't know. We gotta think this through a little bit. In comes the Sceptile. And from that range, I don't know if I feel comfortable going for Quick Attack. He could very easily have the HP Rock. I don't think he has HP Ice, so he went for uh, Dragon Pulse earlier. I'm thinking predicting the uh, Tangela to come out. So, you know what? I'm not going to sacrifice Raichu. I'm just going to go straight into Hypno. And hopefully we can take any hit that this thing wants to dish out. No, he just goes for the Dragon Pulse again. Maybe he doesn't have a hidden power at all, which is also possible. That doesn't do much. I think we're in a good position here. I think we might just have this in the bag. Well, not in the bag, but we have uh, things leaning our way. So first things first, I'm going to want to set up a wish. Here comes the Dragon Pulse again. I don't know why he's not going for his grass type stab. Because if it was Leaf Storm, I don't know. I think we may have been able to take that just barely. But we'd be down on the red zone right now. Hmm. All right, well, fair enough. We'll just go for a protect here to make sure that we are as healthy as possible. Then we can fire off either a Toxic or a Psy Shock. So we protect ourselves there. And that is going to bring us up to like 95-ish percent of our max HP. So Hypno is looking good right now. We could even throw up another Wish right now and then Toxic. But I'm going to Psy Shock here. As he does take this opportunity to switch, predicting another Wish or a Toxic. Either or. And thankfully I went for the Psy Shock there. Zangoose takes a little bit more damage due to the Stealth Rocks. And after this Psy Shock, I do think you're within range of a Quick Attack from Pa now. Oh yes, most definitely. Most definitely you are. Now, with that being said, now we don't need Raichu at all. So he's going to go for a knockoff. There's really no reason for him not to. So now we're going to sacrifice Raichu. Let him kill it with a facade or a whatever he wants to go for. Knockoff, that's what I said. Yeah, there's the knockoff. Goodbye, Zap. Unfortunately, you didn't get to do anything. You did knock out Weezing, although I'm a little disappointed that you weren't able to do it in one hit. As our Focus Sash falls off. Meaningless. Completely meaningless it was. But now, like I said, we can come in with Pa here, and we can quick attack. Now, I think we actually outspeed Zangoose, if I am remembering the, t the speed tiers correctly. I think I outspeed by one base point. But he's going to actually switch out into the Sceptile. Maybe it's Choice Zangoose. That would make sense. Um, but this thing is not going to be able to take multiple quick attacks, especially after the Stealth Rock damage. Uh, it's actually a critical hit. I don't think that mattered at all because two Choice Banded Quick Attacks from an Unpheasant were definitely going to take that Sceptile out. It's just a matter of if it was going to take two hits or not. Probably. But uh, either way, Zangoose comes out now and he's just going to go down to a Quick Attack. So Pa doing what Pa does best and that is just clean up. All right, so down goes the beautiful shiny Zangoose. That uh, shiny Sceptile was pretty cool too, I have to say. Although, I'm not sure if I like the regular Sceptile better. Anyway, thank you very much for the match, Greg. Uh, next time, I don't know what tier we're going to do. I have absolutely no idea. I've been going on a breeding kick lately, so I have all kinds of new Pokemon to use. I just don't know what tier it's going to be, so... Uh... I guess we'll find out. I'll probably ask for some battles over Twitter uh, in the coming days, so stay tuned for that if you want to get in on that. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you are leaving a like rating or a comment or whatever you would like to do. Again, thank you for the match, Greg, and I will see you all next time. But until then, game on.